Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan once again. In this video, we are going to solve one hexic equation by two methods. First one is algebraic method and second is using complex number. So let's get started. Algebraic method. Write all the terms to one side. So x power 6 plus 64 will be equal to 0. I will write sum of cube form. So x square whole cube plus 64 is 4 whole cube. 4 times 4 times 4 that is 64. Now we know that a cube plus b cube can be written as a plus b a square plus b square minus a b. So it will become a plus b. So x square plus 4. In second bracket we will write a square. So x square whole square x power 4 plus 4 square. So 16 minus a b. So 4 times x square equal to 0. Now product of two functions is equal to 0 that means f equal to 0 or g equal to 0. So we will write x square plus 4 is equal to 0 or x power 4 minus 4x square plus 16 equal to 0. So I can see it is x square is equal to minus 4, x square is equal to 2i whole square, take a square root both sides, so x will become plus minus 2i. Both solutions are imaginary complex. Now you can see the second equation is quadratic in x square. So I am writing directly. I am not doing substitution. Put x square, x square is equal to 2. That is another way you can consider it. I am writing directly. This is quadratic in x square. So I am finding x square directly. So formula is minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So minus b. So 4 plus minus square root b square minus 4 square 16 minus 4 a c so minus 64 divided by 2 a so 2 4 plus minus square root negative 48 16 times 3 is 48 so i can write 4 plus minus what I should write 4i root 3. 16 will come out from the square root. So it will become 4 minus sign. So i and root 3 will be inside the square root. So over 2. So it is. Let me divide this plus minus 2i root 3. This is our x square. Now let's solve 2 plus minus 2i root 3 that is our x square. So x will become plus minus 2 plus minus 2i root 3 square root. That value will come out. So there are four roots we can write from here that are, let me write, so there are four roots x is equal to square root 2 plus minus 2i root 3 and then minus sign, so 2 plus minus 2i root 3 square root. You can solve further, then you can match with your complex number result also, it is plus minus 2i. So there are six roots or six solutions. Now let's solve using complex number. So I will write x power 6 is equal to minus 1 
times 64 as 2 raised to the power 6. Now take 1 6 power to both sides. So it will be x is equal to 2 times minus 1 power 1 over 6 by taking 1 6 power to both sides. So now it is 2 times in terms of e I am going to write e raised to the power i pi whole power 1 over 6. If you take it periodically then we will write e raised to the power i pi plus 2n pi where n is integer and whole power 1 over 6. Now using de Movis theorem we will write x is equal to e raised to the power i bracket pi over 6 plus 2n over 6 times 2 pi better is to write times n so that we can put n value where n belongs to integer and we are going to substitute 0 1 2 3 4 5 for 6 roots so by this method we will find out x0 x1 x2 x3 4 5 so let's find out all the six values so x x0 means n equal to 0 put there n equal to 0 it will be e raised to the power i pi by 6 here we have to put the value of n so e raised to the power i pi by 6 2 was there 2 will be as it is pi by 6 is root 3 by 2 plus i root i by 2 so that let me write one time cos 30 cos pi by 6 so that is root 3 by 2 plus i sin 30 sin pi by 6 so 1 by 2 if i will open it bracket then it will come out root 3 plus i similarly for by putting n equal to 1 we will be having 2 e raised to the power 2 pi plus pi 3 pi by 6 that means i pi by 2 so that value will come out 2i cross term will be 0 put x equal to 2 n equal to 2 so e i 5 pi over 6 similarly 2 e i 7 pi over 6 you can write the values 2i then next value will be minus root 3 plus i next value will be minus root 3 minus i then next value will come out 2 e raised to the power i 3 pi by 2 by putting n equal to 4 that value will be minus 2i and the last value will be by putting n equal to 5 we will have e raised to the power i 11 pi over 6 so once you simplify this value it will come out root 3 minus i now come to unit circle how we can write directly answer without finding cos sine e theta i theta you need to apply n equal to 0 see this is your result after getting n equal to 0 putting n equal to 0 okay so in terms of coordinates i am writing this is argon plane this vertical axis is imaginary and horizontal is real so first coordinate if you you will see it is root 3 minus root 3 comma 1 and perpendicular is 2i perpendicular downside you will be getting minus 2i you will be getting here minus root 3 1 as per coordinates minus root 3 minus 1 see this is your x 0 x1 x2 then x3 
x4 x5 and fifth point is you can see right fourth quadrant fourth quadrant means x positive y negative so your answer is root 3 comma minus 1 so how you can find out first write the first real and imaginary part breakage so root 3 comma 1 then you have to respectively after certain addition of theta angle you will be having the rest of the value first quadrant both positive second quadrant x negative y positive third quadrant both negative fourth quadrant x positive y negative so you can draw and this is unit circle with radius r equal to 2 i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching please do subscribe my channel